What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, we about to get into um, what Krishan is officially charged with in this situation with James, okay? <clears throat> First of all, this is the Circus of Blues. Shout out to them. Krishan Rock took a plea deal today in court where she was charged with the uh, assault on James Wright and her battery charge was dropped. She was sentenced to 30 days in jail and 12 months probation. She would do 30 days in L.A. County and then she would be picked up by Oklahoma and sentenced for her probation violation. OK, so <clears throat> it says charge, charge, description, um, assault with deadly assault with deadly weapon, not firearm. We all know that uh, they just said that the battery was dropped. Term 12 months um, status in effect conditions um basically she gotta obey all the laws of the court uh she gotta understand she gotta they she had to let them know that she understood all the laws uh and what she had to do for her probation make restitution to the victim per penal code section whatever so she does have to pay him i don't know how much but she does have to pay him um also i said in the civil suit he may not get he may not get any money, but at least the, um, the doctor bills. So I don't know how much he getting, but he may be getting them doctor bills. That's what I think he got. <laughs> um, do not own or use or possess any dangerous. I'm sure that's going to say firearm. Do not threaten force, use violence, harass, um, anybody and do not associate with stay away from, uh, I'm sure that's the place that they had that event at, um, confinement jail as a condition of probation. And she, her sentencing is 30 days. She already did five. So if, if she is potentially on good behavior, she might just do 20. Um, but if that's not how they rocking, she going to do 30 and y'all already know Oklahoma got 30 days. Well, at this point, 25 days to come get her now. Um, let me look this up right quick before y'all be on my ass. The restoration of something lost or stolen to its proper owner. So, um, what was stolen that night was his teeth. Okay. Um, her hitting him in the mouth, literally, and I'm not being funny. So y'all probably laughed and I'm not laughing. But uh, she did crack his teeth and they had to be fixed. So if anything, I think he getting restitution for what happened to him. But I definitely wanted to look at this definition for y'all to stop playing with me. Also, recompense, recompense, I guess recompense. I don't know how they recompensate, whatever. Basically, she got to compensate for his injury or loss, which I was absolutely right. So like I said, she has to pay him for him, them hospital bills. Um, and I think rightfully so. Uh, once again, I do not feel like he should have touched her, but in the, the event of her cracking this man's teeth, he absolutely deserve at least them doctor, them doctor visits back. Okay. So I'm with him on that. Uh, but I'm also with her on, she shouldn't have never touched him. And I feel like that's why the battery, um, part of it was dropped. He shouldn't have touched her. So that's, that's just my opinion on it. That's how I feel about the whole situation. Um, I'm going to read some of these comments. <clears throat> Whereas all her fans saying she was innocent and never touched that man. Now, Oklahoma, you have one job. Get it done. <laughs> he can't be around her because he, he is on felony probation, which prohibits you from being around another probationer. Okay, so uh, what? They've been around each other this whole time. Both of them on probation. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, I guess she lucky she only got 30 days for assault. He can also sue her as well. I hope she's taking this all and gets her act together. So once again, this civil suit thing, like I said in my last video, actually can be debunked by her. What was that charge? Not charge, but basically it was a, I gotta, I gotta go to it because y'all like to play. Hold on, let me go to it. What was that plea called? And once again, that's my whole point. We have to know what the hell going on to speak about it. She put in a, 
A contest plea means there won't be a trial. This is useful in cases where a trial's outcome is uncertain or where the person charged would prefer not to have the case out in public. It also means the victim, James, uh, can't use the plea in a civil case later to prove guilt, which will be Krishan's guilt. So nine times out of 10, it won't even go to civil court because she will be able but to use this video, plea. But in that video, Ty was caught in the... She'll be able to use that plea. So I just want to put that out there. Once again, for all y'all lawyers that know what y'all talking about, you you know, you YouTube lawyers and y'all know what it is that that's happening. Hey, if you right, you right, gang. I want y'all to know I'm not here to be right. I'm here to tell you what's going on. It's for you to decide whatever it is that you want to decide. All right. I just want to make that clear. All right. Um, I got hella lawyers. So basically she took the plea, confirming she put hands on dude, shake my head. Okay, going to have her sit for a minute. <laughs> a, a minute? She's sitting for a couple of days. Because, uh, I mean, she claims she didn't touch him, so why plea? And based off her probation rules, she can't put hands on nobody or even threaten violence towards a person, which she's not going to be able to do. I don't know. Okay, C document says she basically signed joint suspicion agree suspension agreement, meaning if she violated her probation terms, um, she served the rest of her time until three fifteen twenty seven. Also, that means that they wanted her to be in Oklahoma until twenty twenty seven, and that's the part y'all are also missing in this little um Oklahoma case with Krishan. Quite frankly, like I said, I think they're gonna keep her on probation but put her on house arrest for an allotted time. Because they didn't know she was a flight risk. Y'all don't know about this interstate law either. It's an interstate law where Krishan was able to leave Oklahoma, but she was supposed to tell them, hey, I'm handling this, this, and that. But she didn't. That's on her. She didn't handle her business. Okay. So when she go back, I think, and that's even if they pick up, I think they're going to put her on house arrest and make her ass stay in Oklahoma. That is more torture than her going to jail, to be honest with you. Um, and if she break that, Chris, girl, just go ahead and make your bed. Go ahead and make your bed. Uh, well, she violated all terms and failed to do community service. LOS, you better pray. Uh, who gonna watch the baby? Karma spending that block. She got lucky too, only to only get 30 days for them to think them people just not going to come and pick her up after doing all this. And she been wanted is laughable. You know, what's so, what's so crazy a lot of these people are talking about these states and where some of them really don't come get you. <laughs> they like, bro, this shit costs too much. We just wait to catch her lacking closer. Um, and I don't, I really don't know if they're going to come get her or not. I think they are. I mean, if they wanted that bad, y'all got the hold and LA put the hold on there for Oklahoma because she's on probation in another state. So LA did that for Oklahoma. It's up to Oklahoma to go get her. So, girl, I'm going to tell y'all right now, we all are in the circus and we all are entertained, okay? We watching. We seeing what's going on. Some of y'all taking it a little more serious than others. And um, I don't know. I'm just here to, to, t to tell y'all what's going on. So, that's all I got to say, man. Tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Um, Bye.